Hello everybody, this is just another vlog. If you're interested in what, hearing how my life has been going up to this point, and what's been going on with me, then feel free to continue watching, and if you don't care, then um, time to click off the video. You know the deal, I know the deal, we all know the deal at this point. We, we're all familiar with YouTube content, and if I don't draw your attention in the first five seconds, and it's... 30 seconds in the video, so you must be somewhat interested. Then you just wander off to another video. That's the average first five seconds. And um, maybe I caught your first five seconds. And maybe this drawing on is uh, wearing off. And you're like, oh, okay, I need to stop watching this and uh, do something else. Um, like more juicier, edited, um, hyper real video. And that's honestly sometimes you just you just need that and you don't need to you know listen to a, a guy ramble on uh about nonsense <clears throat> i am sick i am sick right now and um that's okay i went on a um weekend retreat with my with vancouver island university UCM group. I uh, I went on a weekend retreat to this event that happens every year. It's called Emerge, and it's located in Stillwood, uh, in British Columbia. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty big thing. There's a lot of people that come from different universities. There wasn't as much this year because. Well, this was my first time, so I don't know how normally how much, but there was a shortage of people because from, I think, the UBC school, a bunch of them got snowed in, like, their their van, their, 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 uh, their bus couldn't run, and so there was only a handful of them that were able to drive, and so if that didn't happen there would would have been a lot more it was a pretty good event i'd say so transformative really big d had an emotional breakthrough which he never does that's saying a lot that's saying a lot and as an a person with uh, atheistic leanings that tends to think more agnostically that has been exploring Christianity I I was moved by it I was absolutely moved by it uh, the first day I I didn't get any any sleep I got some sleep but I barely got any sleep on Friday and uh, that's the day that we had to leave to go to emerge I did not barely got any sleep the night prior uh, for things I might talk about later in this video. And so I was pretty beat, um, but I was, you know, keeping steady energy until we arrived and I was, energy was just going down and down. And then there was this big icebreaker section that lasted on for hours and where we all had to walk around in this big church the chapel and fill out this bingo bingo card of to meet somebody that uh like bingo card where like like sushi uh has the same major as you just you gotta find someone new that can relate that the bingo prompts are true too and for me for me i i i thought we had to fill out all of them to put in this box to win a have a chance to win a prize uh i was three away from completing it but you only needed th uh three rows instead so <laughs> But honestly, I, I don't really care about the prize. I don't need more stuff to take back home with me. Uh, so it, it did not bother me. And I could see scenarios where I would just revel in that large crowd and just talking, making 
decent, if not great, first impressions with people. But I was like a walking zombie, pretty much, you know, trying to do my best to smile and uh, be friendly. I definitely think, like, for some people that seemed off-putting. Hi, how's it going? Uh, my name's Liam. Uh, care to fill out this bingo card? Let's, let's trade bingo cards. Uh, yeah, I trying to fill out other people's bingo cards instead of when I notice that none of uh, the the squares apply to me because they're filled out I would just say I'm I had a rock polisher as a child because that was one of the prompts that nobody was filling out and so I just lied <laughs> and said yeah I have a, as a child I was really into rock and my dad bought me a rock polisher. I thought that one might be a trap to catch liars. I don't know. But that's that's what I did. So I, I didn't feel bad about not being able to fill up some people's bingo cards. Yeah, I'm so mischievous. Uh, that was pretty much the most devious thing I did. Aside from the fairy there. This one guy that goes to UCM, UCM is just a Christian group at the IU, he wanted to mess around on the ferry. For example, he wanted to, uh, there's like this sa safety tape that like zips, like, you know how there's like pulls that you zip like this belt to the other pull, and it just means like, restricted access you cannot go beyond this point well he like mess around and you know take one off and then it just zip back just to fuck around uh, another thing that we did was grab a bunch of flyers and just put pe put it on people's uh windshields like on their cards and just like just in random places like in barf bags on the ferry it, it's it's so dumb it's something i normally don't do uh because I have respect for the people that work there and uh, for, you know, just, just strangers. Don't really want to mess up their, make life difficult on them. Maybe you do sometimes, you know, just to keep people on their toes. Just to make people go, what? That's odd. I think that's that's great. So I, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it, but normally I just wouldn't really do that. It's not really... My thing to uh, to be a bit mischievous, but maybe I'd like to, you know, live a little, be less of a, be less of like a pussy, and you know, I I, I don't, I I'm bullying myself right now, and I shouldn't be doing that because a uh, particular particular somebody doesn't like that, and uh, and also it's just bad mental habit that slowly trying to notice and get rid of yeah anyways i i was so glad that um that the the icebreaker group ended there was other games like uh make it a a, a chant for your team because we all had to like go we were all assigned like a team that we all had to do different uh, task for and try to win and see I was all stupid I was part of the the losing team we did not win a single one and you know what that's pretty pre pretty okay with me I I know I I've probably dragged the team down a bit uh in other if I was in a better headspace I would have liked to project my voice and um try to be like a pseudo leader or just you know talk to people to organize an organizer uh but i don't know it, it was all right and then i had a deep conversation with one guy that we all lodged with it was quite nice uh we lodge in this green well on like green mattresses with bunk beds uh it was and 
there was an upstairs with like three beds, but I was downstairs with pretty cool guys. They're all pretty cool guys. It seemed like one guy uh, didn't want to bunk above me, and then he eventually just left. So that was like okay. In the morning after, my uh, my gut really hurt, and that was a bit tough. But I was able to work through it, um, and I was able to have quiet time with God uh, at nine o'clock. Uh, after people had breakfast, I didn't have breakfast, and just meditate on the Bible, and that really spoke to me. And uh, yeah, the, there was a lot of times where we're just in the chapel listening to uh, the guest speaker or whoever, and uh, listening to amazing music. Fuck, it was... I kind of want to join a choir now. Just because how much fun it is. Uh, and just, yeah. So we'll, we'll see. Overall, I think it was a successful trip. There was other things, but I'm not going to delve too far into it. Yeah, it's, um, it's been pretty great. Uh... Yeah, I slept a whole bunch, still sleeping a whole bunch. My mind had, has just been feeling really weird lately. Uh, especially since just coming back. But maybe that's just adjusting. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I should get into this, but uh, just so you know, like, found somebody. Uh, Fuck, I, I don't like jinx, jinxing these things because a lot of times when I bring these things up into YouTube videos, I jinx it, but I'm not going to because I've developed a success mindset. Yeah. I think I am in love. Anyways, don't really probably don't want to get too far into it um it's nothing really nothing well it is some something significant but it's nothing don't worry about it um i know a little teaser like what i need to know more but you don't you don't really need to know more um yeah i don't really know where i'm going with this but i'm doing pretty pretty all right uh yeah there's still a lot of things that i need to work out with but um with time Trying to fo fix my problem one step at a fix my problems one step at a time, and uh, that person is helping me with it, giving me peace, strength, energy, giving me another purpose to work for, and uh, yeah, she's she's pretty cool. Maybe you can meet her sometime. She can be a bit shy, but I'd like, I'd like to show her off sometime. If she's watching this, uh, hello. Uh, yeah, you're probably not watching this, but if you're, hi. Text me, you know, like like usual. Maybe call me, tell me what you think. I don't know. But that's that's pretty much I think that's pretty much it. Uh for the tattoo, I still need to uh call. I still need to book an appointment. And um I will. Uh tomorrow I think. Yeah, because I won't be sick for very long, I don't think. And yeah. Like, yeah. I just gotta book it. And I will. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Good things are happening. Good things will happen. This mantra I've been repeating to myself is paying off. It's paying off big time. Good things are happening and better things will happen. Focus on success. Focus on it. Don't let, don't let doubt inside your heart. Don't let 
Just have blind faith in your own abilities. But don't be stupid about it, of course. If you need a book for me to, to elaborate on this point, I can recommend it to you in the comments. But that's, that's pretty much it. I hope you're all doing well, living your best self for yourself, for others. You'll see me in the next video, of course. I wish you all well, my friends. Peace out.